I'm Sam, and this is some Amazing Travels. Week 42, meaning only 10 weeks left here in Germany. It's all coming to a very quick snowballing close, but at least I had another great week. On Tuesday, it was Adrienne, my host mom's birthday, so we celebrated it with a nice dinner, had some friends of Adrienne and Andreas over, and we had some quiche and some yummy salad. Not only that, but we did enjoy some fine white wine. No one's gonna say no to that. Thursday was Eric's last day in Berlin. Two months gone by already? What? Therefore, we decided to do something out of the ordinary and we went to a Moroccan restaurant. It was Moroccan mixed with Egyptian kind of stuff, actually. We were in the Kreuzberg area. It was really cool when we got there. There was, you know, this whole traditional sit on the floor thing after you take off your shoes. So, I mean, when in the Moroccan Egyptian restaurant, do as the Moroccans and Egyptians would do, huh? I mean, I can't verify that in any way because I haven't been to Morocco or Egypt, but considering there was people doing it, I figured this was kind of the thing. The food wasn't bad at all. My plate was this hummusy fried cheese and pita-esque bread and some other kind of dip that I can't really remember, but I just remember liking to eat it. Friday kicked off the long weekend. Why? Because there's some holiday I don't really know about or really anyone that I ask really knows why there's a holiday celebration. But who cares when it's a day off work? Before I was released from prison, <clears throat> I mean the job, nine to five grind, I had lunch with Alex. We went to this fried chicken restaurant. It's the Arabic version of KFC. I hadn't had fried chicken in a while and this fried chicken was really good. I mean, it tasted like America. The only thing that was missing was barbecue sauce. Next time I go to the supermarket, bring my own and go to town on those wings. After work, I went to Alex's house. We were getting ready to go meet up with Jessica, Becca and Felix, you know, for a night of walking out on the town because it was a gorgeous day outside. I mean, it reached a high of like 85 that day. Incredible. So we decided what a nice night to go walking and take the town on by foot. Didn't really happen though, because by the time Alex and I left the apartment, everyone said they were tired and going home. Come on, guys. Plan B, we needed to fix that hunger situation that was going on. Found this newly opened Asian restaurant. Why not? I ordered some kind of spicy curry beef thing. Really good. Saturday was the last Bayern München game of the season. I mean, the regular season. So went over to Alex's friend David's house and watched the game. Bayern had three goals scored against them in the first 10 minutes, which had never been done in like 50 years of Bayern history. So, I mean, it wasn't the greatest history to witness, but <laughs> did it anyway. Byron ended up winning the game and we were all pumped. So we decided spontaneous beer pong was totally the solution to our adrenaline rush. <laughs> and um, we were really right. I hadn't played beer pong in 10 months. My arm was getting rusty. I needed to grease it up with some cheap light beer. And I did. And I sank them. Owned the night, won every single game I played. Of course, I had teammates and they helped, but I was on fire. Beer pong is definitely something I miss about America. Like, high on the list. Spite of beer pong, got up early Sunday morning for Carnival de Kulturen. Basically, it is a parade, a giant parade with 82 different float cars and all of them are playing different kind of music. And there's people walking in the streets, selling beer and cocktails and food. The day was gorgeous for it. I mean, sunny, bright and hot. I got to wear shorts, shorts in Berlin for the first time ever. Extremely stoked. As I said, at this carnival, there are these floats things where people are playing music. So we walked in order to find one that had some good music for us to jam to and walk down the streets with. We found the Ghana float. For those of you that don't know, I took West African dance in college and I was all over that Ghana dance stuff. So I busted out some of my moves, the cuckoo and all these other things. The Ghana float was on fire. We walked in the parade because you just join the float that you like and you dance along in the street with the float in the parade. The dancing was obviously one of my favorite parts. I mean, not only did I get to dance, but I got to dance in the streets. Being in a parade was definitely on my list of things to do in life. Check. 
Fun didn't stop there. After having such a good time playing beer pong the night before, it was time for round two at David's house once again. And well, I was sinking cups, but not as well as the night before. I guess my uh, my arm got a little bit of beer pong tendonitis and uh, I lost <clears throat> two games. It hurt, it hurt. Monday, today, guess who is here in Berlin visiting me after forgetting her passport and she was supposed to be here Friday, but it doesn't matter, she's here now. It's Bianca Mihades, my travel soulmate. Bianca and I did a tour of Europe back in 2007 when we were just 17 and realized this was our true calling. We went with Alex and some of his friends to Hard Rock Cafe. I mean, you can't get any more German than that. I mean, American than that. And I'm sorry to say that it was not a good experience. My first burger was super burnt, tasted like cancerous charcoal. And I was like, I'm not paying 15 euros for this burger. So can I get another one, please? The second one was better, but it kind of just ruined the whole experience for me. After being all fueled up from our meal and beer, we headed for a small little tour of Berlin for Bianca since the day turned out to be nice and sunny. We went to the Jewish Memorial Brandenburger tour and we saw the Reichstag. There's going to be a lot in store this week because Bianca's here and well, it's time to party and get down and dirty in the Eurozone. But for now, here is the week in review. Okay, it's Eric's last night, sad tear. Um, we are sitting at, on the floor at a Moroccan place. Ooh. Oh, it's Moroccan and Egyptian. Moroccan, Moroccan and Egyptian. Look at this, on the floor. You can see better by those ladies. So here's the food I had, the little garbanzo bean round things, hummus and bread and all this yummy stuff. Yeah, anyway, that's Juan's plate, super huge and delicious. Look are you filming? who I have. It's Bianca Meadas. I forget my password sometimes, but I make it, but I make it when I need to. And she's now in Berlin. And we're going to have a fucking adventure this week. We're going to take a walk in the, come on, you know it. The, something, green forest? Yes. Oh, I got it. Okay, green forest. Grunewald. Very good. Grunewald. Bianca is now officially obsessed with the Grunewald, so just to let all you guys know. Okay, sorry for like the not so great quality, but I had to take these videos on my iPhone since I forgot my camera. Not saying that the iPhone isn't great, but the parade would have looked much better on my camera. Anyway, this is the parade, Carnival de Culturen, and as you see, this is like the little trains. Okay, they're not trains, they're um, uh, floats, right. They're floats, and people are dancing behind them, and we decided to join the Ghana float, because as you're gonna hear in like 2.5 seconds, the music was super awesome. We're getting ready, finding the right float. There's the crew, and here it is. Ask it in Friday. Go ahead with your feet slide this. Get short to the latest. Come on, go to the latest. What you do, my guy? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. 